Hey everybody, this is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. iOS 10 is chock full of new features, but in this video we're going to focus on the myriad of enhancements made to the lock screen and to the home screen. First up is Raise to Wake. Unfortunately, this really neat feature is limited to apparently just the 6S devices, so the 6S and the 6S Plus. But ideally, you just lift up your phone and it automatically turns on. That means you can avoid hitting your home button and going past your lock screen before even seeing your notifications. But with that comes a big change. Slide to unlock is gone. You now simply press your home button to unlock using Touch ID or entering your passcode. But again, slide to unlock has now disappeared. Instead of sliding to unlock, you can now slide from the right to the left to open up your camera. Or if I relock my phone and I slide from the left to the right, I actually open up a new kind of today view, which is all the different widgets. These widgets used to be located inside of Notification Center along the top. On the bottom of the phone when I swipe up, we have a newly designed Control Center. If I swipe to the right now, everything's been broken up into different apps. So I have one pane for music and another one for HomeKit. Developers can get their hands on this and add new additional panes that are similar to what glances were on the Apple Watch. And look, it looks like my colleague Cody has sent me a text message. This is great to demonstrate another new feature of the lock screen and that's better interaction with notifications. So for instance this, I can actually use 3D Touch to pop into that message and reply straight from the lock screen. I have full control over everything I can do in messages, including all those extensions and additional new features in messages that you really should check out another video for and of course we've already made it and it's linked at the end of this one. Now that covers a lot of what we can see here on the lock screen, but if I go ahead and press my home button to unlock, let's check out some enhancements to the home screen. Now when we're looking at the lock screen, I mentioned that the widgets had been stripped out of Notification Center and put to the left. Well, that means Notification Center now is purely notification. The biggest enhancement here though is you can use 3D Touch to clear all notifications. This is a really great feature that's really simple, but many people are very happy about. So Notification Center has been cleared up. Let's go ahead and look at our new widget view. This is located at the home screen zero, so whether you're on your lock screen or to the far left of your first home screen, you can access this page. There are also a ton of new Apple branded widgets that have been added here. A couple cool ones for music, for recent photos and memories as well as the news app. For ones that have more information, there's actually a show more button on that right hand corner of the widget, allowing you to see more information. Now there's a lot of really cool things we'll be able to see from developers, including video playing in line and other live updates. If you pull down all the way from the top, you can still access Spotlight as well as from any other home screen. These new widgets are not just available here inside of this widget view, they're actually available on many new iOS icons. Simply 3D touch on them and you'll present it with a new widget view above your 3D touch contextual menu. For instance, activity will give you a live update of your current activity goals. These update in the background and is a really easy way to get some quick information without having to go into the app. If there's one that you particularly like, there's actually an add widget button there on the right hand corner of many of these new widgets. So you simply tap that and it'll add it to your little widget view on home screen zero. Not all applications got this though from Apple. Obviously like clocks, there's not really a lot to see, but many of them did. Notes, reminders, calendars, and I even really like photos. Photos has those new photo memories presented right there on top. The last feature that I want to look at has been widely reported and you might and probably do already know about, but that is the ability to remove stock applications. Not all applications can be removed because they are too heavily integrated into the system itself. For instance, if you removed App Store, there would be no App Store to re-download that application. But if you ever did remove something, you remove the Watch app or iTunes, you can hop into the App Store and re-download that application should you ever choose to use it again. So there we have it. That's pretty much all the enhancements on the home screen and the lock screen. Lots of new features for Notification Center, widgets, press to unlock, 
control center, and much, much more. If there's anything substantial that we missed, go ahead and let us know and everyone else down in the comments below. iOS 10 will be launching in public beta here in July, and it'll be available for everyone in the fall. Please go ahead and subscribe if you have not already, so you can keep up with all of our latest news on Apple's newest software updates. And until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.